Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I want to continue our topic of the rent uh, probability. So in previous uh, videos, we already talked about uh, um, most of the necessary terminology of prob probabilities and introduced both discrete random variables and continuous random variable. In these videos, I want to talk about uh, terminologies about if we have more than one random variables, then how we can describe it. So in this video, I want to talk about if we have two random variables, then we can use a joint prob probability distribution to describe it. So first of, uh, similar with our uh, discrete random variable and uh, continuous random variable, like if we have one of them, then we can use a probability a mass function or probability density function to describe it. So here, if we have two continuous random variables, we can also use a function similar to probability density function. So here, we have this name as joint probability density function. So joint probability density function is also a function of the possible values of the our continuous random variable. So here, because we have two continuous random variables that are denoted by capital X and capital Y, so the function here also the like PDF, but this is the JPDF joint probability density function. They will also have two variables, so they are x and y, and we also denoted our uh function by small f, and this is small f sub capital X and y, uh with parentheses small x and small y. So here for this uh, joint probability density function we also have some requirement for it. So the first requirement is our function should also always be a non-negative value. So this is also come from our property of the probability because probability is always a number between zero and one. So that's why the value for our probability, joint probability density function is also a non-negative value. And then, for the integral of our joint probability density function uh, from negative infinity to positive infinity with respect to x and y, this integral should equal 1. This is also from our axiom of probability. So because the probability of the sample space should equal 1, so here this means the uh, probability of the including all of the possible values of our continuous random variable should equal 1. So that's why we have this second requirement. And then the last requirement is the meaning of our joint probability density function. So that means if we take a double integral of our joint probability density function, then this uh, region of our integral, if we denote this by r, so this integral will give us the uh, probabilities of our random variables x and y inside this region. So this is the uh, meaning for our joint uh, probability uh, probability density function. So if you compare this with our original uh, probability density function like what we have we generally have the probability of capital x smaller or equal to small x this is an integral from negative infinity to x and then this is with respect to our uh u for integral or function of our pdf right? so if you compare this with our uh, equation for the joint probability density function, you know the idea is actually exactly the same. They also an uh, integral give us a region for our uh, integral and because the for a single random variable then this is just a single integral and if uh, we have a pair 
continuous random variable x and y, then this will become a double integral. So our r will become a two-dimensional uh, uh, space or, or size. And then the left-hand side of these two equations are both the probability. So this is uh, actually the three requirement for our joint probability density function. It's exactly the same with our three requirement for the probability density function. So also, if you still have some, like, forgot what is the requirement for the probability density function, you should review my videos of the probability density function of continuous random variable. So then for this, if we have a pair of uh, continuous random variable, maybe you will ask a question. Now we know we can describe the uh, probability by the probability joint probability density function. However, what will happen if we only care about one of these pair uh, continuous random variable? So this is what we will have. This is about the marginal probability distribution. So a marginal probability distribution is the individual probability distribution of a pair of uh, of one random variable in a pair of continuous random variable. So here for this one if we use the uh, continuous random variable then of course we can have a probability density function of this uh, marginal probability distribution. So then let me give you the uh, formula for this. So here for the marginal probability density function, of course, because we have two random variables, right, x and y. So actually we have two equations for our marginal probability density function. One is about x and the other is about y. So when we try to get the marginal probability density function for x, then what we will do, we will integral our joint probability density function with respect to y from the negative infinity to positive infinity. So in other words, this is a uh, this is a treat our x as a fixed value, a small x, and then we take an integral of all possible values of our y. And then for the marginal probability density function of y, this means we will take an integral with respect to x. So that means this is a given our capital Y is equal a value small y, then we integral all possible values of our x, and then this will become, after this integral, this will become a function of y. Okay. So this is the definition of our marginal probability density functions. And here for this uh, videos, actually I only give the joint probability distribution of a pair of the continuous random variable. So if you're interested in how we can generate a joint probability distribution of discrete random variable, all a joint distribution of uh, more than two random variables. So you can leave a comment under this videos and maybe later I can upload uh, videos about that topic. Okay, so this is a video about the joint probability uh, functions and uh, distributions. So in next videos, I want to start to talk about the conditional probabilities distribution for the more than one or two random variables. So please subscribe this uh, channel and see you in next video.